Okay. That's how we got the 19th Amendment. It was actually like Gilded Age industrialist progressives, the same guys who met at the Jekyll Island Club in 1910 to draft the Federal Reserve Act, the same guys who wanted the income tax, had a vested interest in getting women out of the home and into the workforce and making them politically active. But why, um, why is that? What was their interest? Well, a couple of reasons. The first interest is if you're going to do an income tax, you can only tax the men's wages well, imagine if you can double that by getting all the women into the workforce and taxing their wages. So that's one. Two is a lot of these guys wanted this blend of socialism and capitalism that we have right now, this kind of hybrid system. And there was a lot of anti-suffrage groups that had posters, pamphlets, encyclicals. They even did debates against suffragists where they said a vote for women is a vote for socialism because the Bolsheviks in Russia were saying we're never going to have full communism. We're never going to have true socialism unless we get women involved, give them the vote, uh, make them workers, make them see themselves as labor units rather than mothers. So this was kind of the plan. That's kind of how we ended up with the system we have now. So they wanted dual income tax. They wanted women in the workforce. What's the other big benefit of that? Where do the kids go all day? If mom and dad are both at work, they have to go somewhere. Oh, we magically get the compulsory education system right along this same time frame. So the kids are being indoctrinated with whatever values the government and the Department of Ed Education want to bestow on them. Then the other big obvious one is cheap wages. If you were mm. J.P. Morgan or a Cornelius Vanderbilt, or a Rockefeller or a Ford and you have these huge factories and you need lots of cheap labor, you can only import so many immigrants. Better idea, take the women who are gonna work for a lower wage, put them in the factories, which is exactly what we saw happen.